Asus gaming laptops are broken and apparently have been since 2021. Uh, Mohamed Mat Matala, aka Zefek Ve Zefkek on GitHub, <laughs> has posted a an ex <laughs> I think I got it. Uh, has posted an extensive account of his investigation into stuttering, freezing, and other performance hiccups that have plagued high-end Asus laptops since 2021. For years, users have reported stuttering during basic tasks like YouTube playback audio crackles and pops on Discord calls, and the mouse cursor freezing for just long enough to be infuriating. The problems impact millions of Asus Strix, Scar, and Zephyrus laptops, which typically include top-tier Intel CPUs, RTX 30 or 40 series GPUs, and plenty of RAM. Users typically report trying everything to fix their systems, with many even installing Linux, only to find the problems persist, regardless of the operating system. Which is pretty this reminds wild. me a lot of the uh, Lenovo laptop I'm currently running, where where the system just the 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 main screen just stops working randomly and i have to close it and open it again it's fantastic um Using freely available tools, Zefkek was able to monitor process latencies under Windows on multiple impacted systems, finding enough evidence to implicate high DPC or deferred procedure call latency originating with acpi.sys, uh, but that doesn't mean it's a Windows problem. ACPI.sys isn't a typical driver. It's effectively an interpreter for the ACPI machine language, uh, the, the code provided by the laptop's firmware. If ACPI.sys is slow, it's because the firmware is passing inefficient or flawed code to execute. Not good. Digging further, Zefkek discovered that the latency spikes aren't random events. They recur reliably every 30 to 60 seconds. While random interruptions might point to thermal throttling, a repeating pattern shows that it's a systemic issue, perhaps a timer or a scheduled event in the system logic. Reviewing raw event data, <laughs> and, wild, and it wouldn't dude. be something like Armory Crate because it still happened when they installed Linux. Okay, interesting. Because my first assumption was like, maybe this is something going on with Armory Crate. Um, da -da -da -da. Reviewing raw event data uncovered a high priority interrupt handler, uh, GPE LO2, consistently taking more than 13 milliseconds to execute, which as far as high priority interrupts go, is an extremely long time. It might, might as well be forever. And then it repeats itself roughly every 30 seconds. Oh, wow. um, event data also revealed that the system repeatedly tries to turn the discrete GPU on and off, even when it's supposed to be permanently active. That's rough. Uh, every time that interrupt is fired, the same sequence occurs. The handler checks battery status. The firmware tries to change the GPU's power state. The system runs normally for 30, 60 seconds and then rinse and repeat. Zefkek extracted uh, and decompiled the ACPI. I love that they What a mad this lad. This is so awesome. Um, Zefkek extracted and decompiled the ACPI tables provided by the BIOS to the operating system, finding code, he says, violated several fundamental principles of firmware and kernel programming. Oof. Uh, there are multiple calls to sleep inside the interrupter handler code. Um, there's a link here of uh, disassembled code, and the comments are from V Zefkek. Uh, the sleep function completely halts the execution of the CPU core it is running on, which then can't process other interrupts and won't allow the kernel to schedule other threads or to update system timers. And it gets worse. The entire loop is effectively a poorly designed task scheduler inside the interrupt handler, which can hold a CPU core hostage for seconds at a time, which when you're trying to use the computer is going to feel horrible. Um, when the event queue is finally empty, the code generates a new artificial event, guaranteeing that another interrupt will fire shortly, creating the pattern of ACPI spikes observed in the initial investigation and creating a pattern of uh, muddy feeling computer usage. This is compounded by a number of other issues, including failing to check which GPU is active before sending potentially damaging commands to it, calling time-intensive power and battery polling functions in the middle of already stalled interrupt handlers, and implementing a second separate power management system in the firmware that features may, uh, many of the same problems. It is a long technical report if this wasn't already and there's so much more uh, that we just glossed over so go check it out for yourself um, uh, dan do you want to throw links in the video description or in the chats yeah. on the various platforms thank you 
and it says that the conclusion makes an excellent TLDR. ASUS has put out a statement on uh, X or Twitter or whatever it's called, stating that they've seen recent reports and are actively investigating, which... Um, Damn. So the discussion question is, what the hell, Asus? Five years? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then has chat run into this? How did Asus handle your support requests? And what do they need to do to make this right? That's tough. I mean, they need to fix it first. Yeah. Um, regardless of whether the system is still under warranty, they need to, are being actively supported. They need to issue a firmware fix for this. Absolutely. Um, but other than that... Other than that, I doubt they will do anything else. But, I mean, honestly, oh, man. They need to do at least that. They need firmware updates for all of these laptops that fix the ACPI issues. And that is going to be, I mean, if it's pretty much every high-performance laptop for five years, this is going to be a gargantuan task to go in and fix all the various because i'm i'm sure that they're not running the exact same code on a laptop from four years ago as today so whatever this is it's probably persisted through multiple changes so they need to go and they need to fix all different permutations of this hmm. what a mess it could be pretty similar i just wonder why why i would never have noticed it because I have daily driven a, um, like, I really like my, uh, oh, shoot, I forget what it's called right now, but the convertible one with the XG Mobile connector. Flow Is X13. that a Strix, Scar, or Zephyrus? No, it's a Flow. This, this said um, the, problem in, the problems impact millions of Strix, Scar, or Zephyrus laptops. Oh, wait, no, it is a Zephyrus then. Zephyrus G, G13, uh, is it? Oh, no, hold on, what is it? Uh, Flow X. I think you might be. I think you might be on a Zephyrus. I think you might actually have one. The ROG Flow X13. I, I don't think it's no, a Zephyrus. Just a Flow. I also had a Flow, um, so I wouldn't have noticed it either. Apparently, the more cores you have, the less likely you are to notice it. And that was an eight-core laptop, so maybe that made a difference. Maybe. Unreal. Mm -hmm.